Everybody, kakakakaka no. Take a moment, please, with Miss Murphy. She'll set you up. We also put out something to measure wind speed. Does anybody know what that one is? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. In fact, on this island. I would say 80% of the schools have a school garden. They're not all this developed, but we have a huge movement going here. And it is around self-sufficiency and that idea that we have incredible weather, um, incredible land for growing food, and that we, that we actually can grow food all over this island. And it's something that in the 10 years since this project has started, um, there's been a wave of interest in it. There are gardens which are older than this garden, but there has been a wave of interest in it. So there are teachers um, at schools all over this island and actually all over the state. Um, there's a very high number of, of gardens and schools because it, it is being used as a hands-on learning place. So we're gonna clear this area and then we'll be planting some more uwala. Uwala. Yeah, sweet potato, good job. I think sometimes, like, you're gonna have to be sustainable and need to grow your own stuff. And this is a good way to learn how. Being able to sustain yourself, I think it teaches you independence. And you can always be able to rely on yourself and, like, the world around you. So it's important for us to clean it well. So we'll kind of spread out the TV area and then just take some of the plants and clean it. I think that agriculture um, in the United States has, has kind of been turned into something that, you know, poor farm laborers do and, and that doesn't have a lot of pride around it. And that there's really a shift in that and our kids are feeling that and they're validating the knowledge that is their parents or even their, you know, long family history because most of us have an agricultural history in our family because, you know, within four or five generations, all of us needed to be growing and, and having some of our own food. And so it connects to the families that way and we need to be able to grow food. And it's really noble to grow food for your community, you know. Again, to, to, to switch that idea from like farming is something you do, and if you have to actually do the work, you're, you're poor and unempowered to being something that's really like a, a beautiful act and a powerful act of caring for your community and for yourself. <laughs> 